Good morning. This is that uh, Alpha Wolf Limited by Cherokee. The 33BH-L. And I'm just going to go through and kind of show you how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, this right here is the on-off power switch. So I'll flip that. It does have a motion sensor light. Huge pass-through. Has the leash latch. Manual stabilizers. Does not have that option. Does have the power tongue jack. Of course, you've got your uh, light option here. Kind of zipping around. Outdoor shower. Kind of have your uh, convenience center here. So fresh water connection, satellite, tank flush, all that good stuff. Got your drain drops down there. I am going to walk you guys around here. It is prepped up there uh, for slide toppers if you guys so chose. Power plugs in there. Kind of coming around the back. Does have uh, the drop down bis bicycle rack. Pre-wired for a backup camera. Um, I know that you guys were uh, talking about your LP Quick Connect. That is right there. And I will get this puppy open here for you. I think I just locked this side. The outdoor kitchen. So you do have a pull-out drawer. A lot of people will put a stove or whatnot in there and jump into that propane line. Um, this is a fridge and freezer. Pretty, pretty large. Um, pretty sure this has been discontinued now. So if you like this option, uh, now would be the time. They switched over to a smaller fridge and an ice maker is the other version. So you might be seeing a couple options out there like that. Cabinet, of course. Close you guys up. Does have uh, the two entry stairs with the, uh, we'll call it the glass windows. Huge awning. Goes over both. It is prepped for uh, television, you know, sound system, all that stuff is out here. You were talking about the Bluetooth uh, stereo, which of course it has. All right, I am walking in here. Hopefully I can hang on to this camera without dropping it. All right, my coffee cup down. Uh, this is your control panel. I'll do a quick zip over of it. It does have uh, one control. Of course, what that is, is uh, the ability for you to control light, slide outs, you know, every little function of your camper with your cell phone, essentially. Doesn't do everything, but it does a lot. 40 degrees today. Solar panel on the roof is charging the batteries at 12.3. Optional uh, Wi-Fi hotspot you can add in. It's all plumbed and ready to rock and roll. Does have a uh, storage setting right there. Spinning around. You've got your booth dinette. Um, we were kind of talking about this pull-out couch, so maybe I'll uh, demonstrate this a little bit, and I apologize. I don't have a second person here, so... Hoping my little hand uh, tripod will do me some justice. So it kind of comes up and out. So if you were to look at it, it would be this big. That back piece folds over, and then you've got a full-size bed, essentially. Oh, my camera's crooked. That's not going to make for a good video. All right, I'll spin you around. This is where you've got that fireplace. All set and ready to rock and roll. This is your Bluetooth uh, stereo we are talking about. Indoor, outdoor zones. Place for the television. Of course, it brings it outside. This is the bigger RV fridge and freezer. So, it is all 12 volt, of course. Kind of stepping you around. Got your stove, you've got your oven. This is always cool. Removable back, black, eh, backsplash that works as a cutting board. Just uh, held up with magnets, so pretty cool there. You do have the blue under light, of course, over here. Drawers, all that good stuff. In here, we've got the huge farm sink, so. No T-molded uh, wood panel here. It's all kind of one piece. No worries about it. Um, of course, this was an old soap dispenser that, of course, now is labeled as a hand, sanitiz hand sanitization station. So, uh, you can use it either or. 
All right, moving into the bedroom, or back bedroom, I should say. Maybe I'll get some lights on in here. You do have a fold-down couch back here. This is the traditional jackknife, which, of course, comes into that couch we spoke of. Um, if you're using it for a couch, you've got a spot for a television over here, all ready to rock and roll. There is a ladder, big rear window. There is an air conditioner back here. So, got to have some different options from the front to the rear. Everyone always looks for uh, power ports. Definitely has those. This one also has this rear bathroom. Nice little sink, medicine cabinet, big fan. And of course that cool glass look door with the nice stairs. I'm moving out of here and moving into the front bedroom. Suppose I won't skip out on uh, your storage here. But moving uh, again into the, the master bath, so we'll call it. Little motion sensor light there, so it'll always flip on for you. Corner medicine cabinet. Do have a big, huge shower. Skylight, another big fan. And we got the access panels off for winterization, of course. But your storage in here is phenomenal. Master bedroom. Pretty straightforward. Nice size queen bed. You've got power on uh, this side, of course. And then uh, hanging storage either side. More power over here. And of course your upper storage here that gives you just a little bit of room. Plus it's not too low so you shouldn't have a head knocking situation. It does have a sliding door right here. For the master bath. And that is kind of the, the camper as a whole. I know being able to see it in the video form does a lot for you. But if there's anything that I missed. Anything else that you'd like to see. Uh, I know you were talking about these blow, these blue glow lights. It does have those. It does have this uh, subwoofer in the ceiling. You know the whole nine yards. There's that second AC. So it will have 50 amp. Power USB ports. Blue glow lights everywhere. Maybe I can get you into some of these, uh, some of these cabinets. See, that's even lit from the inside, which is also cool. I'll spin you around. Huge storage. And of course, your drawers. I guess I don't need to get too in depth, but they do pull all the way out, and they're really kind of cool. If you have any other questions, just let me know.